So the curve of gravity pulls on point. Today we're going back to our old buddy, our old friend. That's been a while time. since we've seen the anime map. I wonder how he's doing. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder how he's the doing. The YouTubers are the future of the internet. Oh no, he fell down the hole. Yeah, he fell. Yeah, just like me and Ellie. He, he fell down. <laughs> he's too late. He fell into degeneracy. Well, you, you, you have to run away but save yourself. <laughs> save yourself. Haven't you fallen yet, <laughs> Lily? Are you the last bastion? The. the Okay. The only. VTuber I like followed for any significant time was like Sugu, but like she wasn't like the streaming video games time ki or kind. She was like, I'm gonna release a 30 minute VHS tape of my avatar playing in the middle of the Japanese wilderness for my fans kind. And it was super Kino. Yeah, sounds Kino. So, yeah, VTubers are the future of the internet, apparently. Which, oh, I and mean, that I one that beats kinda... herself up, that one too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Roxy is it Roxy Roya or something? Yeah, she's something she's like great. that. <laughs> she, yeah, she's good. She, everyone, she, everyone should go follow her on Twitter. Absolutely. She'll follow you back. It's great. It's 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 good wholesome content. Look, it's good wholesome woman respecting content. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be the future, apparently, according to a man and my Matt. And so I'm interested to see what his argument is. Um, as to why why he thinks that it's gonna be the future, because it might it, you know, it might be interesting. You know, Ellie, you said right. you've already watched this video. Well, watch it as in skimmed real hard and decided that we should watch this video. Kind of watch right, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I haven't watched it yet either. So, I'm, I'm but kinda, I told I I I'm, spoiled I teased Niretsu with it. There's a couple. There's a couple of little spoilers, but like I, I'm, I'm just very interested after hearing them because it's like, ooh, how, how's he gonna connect the dots? It's gonna be fascinating. So without any further delay, let's uh, get right. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Touch my wrinkles, baby. Well, he really likes the lollipops. Hmm. Yeah, fair, 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 yeah. Especially this lolly that's on screen right now. <laughs> this, uh, Guys, Neoners is pro lolly. Go to her Discord and tell her that you yeah. know she is. She'll love it. <laughs> look, look, you just have to look up a YouTube channel called Nanners, Nanners, and then and then put an R, an R, right? And just see what the autocorrect comes up with, okay? That's, that's all I'm saying, right? You just, just have to go search that up, and you'll find out that Nanners is actually incredibly based, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. The internet is weird, right? I've noticed he's kind of changed the style a little bit. Well, he's kind of, he's kind of he, bumped up the editing values a little bit. Yeah, we talked about it when he, or I believe it's a bit, it's been a while. He. He watched the video or something. Was it about that Otaka Chan thing? Um, don't recall. God, it's been that long. That yeah, but the before. point is, is that he was very, very impressed that somebody in the energy space made a thing, and then decided that we all should step up our production values, right. and then he decided to, because you know. Is his after after is always a static image, but for that for that one video where he said we all should step up, he did a lot a lot of rotations, a lot of you know angling, and his avatar constantly drifted back and forth, up and down, shook a little bit the entire time. So he he made it. It's an amazing effort. what a pirated copy of Sony Vegas can do for you. Yeah. Yeah. He said, but my my criticism or my 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 commentary on that is, yeah, you upgraded your avatar from being standing still to moving. You around. jiggled your rant sonar around. It it jiggles slightly as you talk. I guess it looks better, but I don't consider that a massive. See, see, if he really wanted, if he if he really wanted to upgrade, he should have added some gun physics. 
<laughs> did he add? Did he add like any any slides where he's crossing his arms? Because that's when you know he's fucking serious. That yeah, yeah, that's when you know shit's about to get real. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll find out. Hey, maybe maybe he will. Let's find out. But that that is that is the the change in his uh, his editing is that he looked up how to do more in uh, his editing program, which I commend because I also learned something yeah, from yeah. making the, uh, a, a one video and suddenly I realized a lot of things. But um, yeah, he wants to have uh, mm. more fancy stuff going on lately. All right, well, let's see if it pays off, shall we? You know, sometimes I think we forget just how young the internet is. The internet wasn't available to the general public until 1993, which was a measly 27 years ago. For reference, the first production cars hit the market in 1886, a 135 years ago. And just in the past 10 years, we've still seen incredible progress with cars becoming faster, safer, more efficient, and cheaper. Okay, so maybe not cheaper right now, but cheaper recently in general. I don't I don't think he act, I don't think this is a good analogy because cars have gone massive revolution undergone massive revolutions. And, he, and even and even and even if if we're gonna not like go with you know, I mean shit. Even before cars, right? If we're gonna talk about transport in general, right? Like we went from horse and carriage to cars. No, you went from horse and car went from horse and carriage and or trains to cars. Oh, yes, steam yes, engines, steam trains, engines were a thing. Yeah, steam engines, yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you had so, electric, you know, when the older cars had those flimsy wheels and were very light. They were driven by uh, by batteries, and then it was that um, gasoline was a better way to for energy. Then they switched to gasoline. So you also you see VTubers are like cars. Yeah, <laughs> they age like shit. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Alright, let's see where he's going with it. I think a neat way to look at it is like. Oh, so his arms are not crossed, but he's getting there. He's almost there. I don't look, do think there. that he already had this one. Yeah, I think. But he's, he's getting there. He's almost there. He just has to he put his arms He just needs down to down shave anyway. off the reverse Hitler he has going. Yeah, yeah. This. So far, only Gen Z has been raised on the internet. And quite uniquely, me being a millennial means I'll probably. Oh, there you go. That explains a lot. <laughs> I do wonder. I'm going the, to put the gun in my mouth now. <laughs> I kind of. Well, it's this very. It's the same age. All, as these, me. all these gens. It's kind of meaningless in the end. Right? Also, it kind of really depends. Like, okay, Gen Z is the is the first generation to be raised on like. Yeah, mainstream wise on web on tablets, I guess. It's yeah, more... like Web three point right? But like, mm. you know, even when I was little, my family had AOL, and like I'm millennial. Yeah, like, I'm yeah. like I'm yeah, like we're, we're, we're young, young yeah. millennial. If, yeah, if you were born in 1990, you would have never known a world that didn't have internet. You have would have known a world that didn't rely on the internet all the time. But you couldn't escape. You, you you haven't escaped the internet if you were born in 1990. Yeah, and well, I don't. Maybe he's a older millennial and was like born in the 80s or something. I don't know. Uh, all right, we'll see. Anyway, we'll see what he has to say about it. Oh god, be in the last generation. Oh boy, right, let's see what he has. Generation of humanity to not be raised with direct access to the internet for our entire lives. Which is really trippy when you think of it in a also, big picture kind of sense. He... I f kind of feel he should specify in the modern world. You know, because live in India. Yeah, that's in, a good point. Live in yeah, China. If you're in, if you're in like... Africa or something. Or even rural, rural like, wherever. Rural areas, yeah. Yeah, that's a... Yeah. I mean, that's... I guess that's a little bit or nitpicky, Cuba, but which no, is like I, I, purposely cut off. Yeah, it's it's a um, it's a definitely a hole in his argument. Definitely. Oh oh my god, can you imagine like you're Cuban, you get internet tomorrow, and you just you, you find Twitter. <laughs> what the 
fuck is this? <laughs> like I would, I would look at, I would look at half the shit going on the internet. Like, no, 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 we're still banning it. No, 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 <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Cut the wire. Cut the wire. Oh no! It's like when they showed those North di- dip or Korean diplomats K-pop, and they just the look on their face was like, oh, yeah. "This was a horrible mistake. We yeah, have yeah, to go yeah, back." Yeah, yeah. You see, you see their faces. They're like, "What is this degenerate bullshit?" Yeah. Although right. K-pop is regularly smuggled into uh, North Korea, and people watch it secretly, no matter how much they try to suppress it. Oh no. It's too late. That's it's what really guns are for. Old. All right, let's keep going. My overall point is this. The internet is very young, and with things that are young, it is far from fully developed. Just 10 years ago, it was extremely dangerous to go on the internet without antivirus. You go to the second page of Google and you were basically f- Now, it's huh? not all that uncommon to go online without antivirus. Oh, he actually, he doesn't understand what? how antivirus works, does he? Well, he is a film student. Well, I mean, look, most operating, like, Windows has its Defender. built-in antivirus. Defender, and yeah, it has like, uh, its uh, and, malware and, and, and that, Yeah, and, and listen, look, okay, <clears throat> as somebody who worked in the field, so to say, right, of, you know, computer fucking bullshit, literally, all do you need is Windows Defender and Malwarebytes. Yeah. That's the, the, that, uh, you, that, that's literally all you need. Like, you, you use Malwarebytes for, like, um, scanning files, right? Like, if you download something and you suspect it might be a problem, then you just run that fucker through, run, through Malwarebytes. And then you just do a Malwarebytes scan, like, I don't know, every month or something. Like, even not even that. Like, you just, just use it when you feel like you need it. And, you know, other than that, like, Windows Defender will pretty much do most of the job for you and the, the, and that's been the case for a long time yeah like but don't even need to go that to... far all you have to do is yeah. one watch you know watch what you're typing in watch what you're clicking on and two just like have something like no script on because a lot of yeah. uh, a lot of shit goes to like but also there was like uh early like blocks nice 10 years ago yeah, yeah, it well. would be it would be very advised to have a, a antivirus program separately because apparently windows defender or whatnot was wasn't that great but nowadays yeah windows defender is pr- actually good it's pretty good actually so a separate antivirus isn't needed anymore but i don't see even but i don't a lot of it would false depend on, yeah it it would depend on like how far back you go cause, yeah. yeah i would say like if you're talking about like Windows XP era, yeah, definitely. If you're talking Windows like Windows Seven, that's about when Defender started to get good, right? Like around about Windows Seven going into eight, that's when it started to become like, yeah, no, you don't really need to have like McAfee or Anvast or whatever. And most of those programs are literally just gonna bloat where your system anyway. Yeah, like that's... It's, it's just taking up. Bro, you don't need that shit. It just kind so, of a kind. Of, it's it's the reason why they became bloatware is because people had less reasons to use it, and therefore they had to yeah. force you to use it even more. Yeah, they they preload that. But shit on I wanted computer, to just shit, yeah. uh, what I wanted to say is that I don't see computers having better protection from the outset. I don't think that has that much to do with how young or old the internet is because. If antivirus programs were became cheaper and were widely used, then I get and were good, then Windows Defender would never be as good as it is now. Or if Microsoft never saw profit in making Defender better, then we all would all use antivirus at this moment, no matter how old the internet yeah. is. Yeah, I, and also, I, I don't know where he's going with this, because this is, like, a really weird intro to, to, to talking about, like... I get the analogy that he's trying to make, but I think it's not... The internet good, isn't cause... more... Well, is it more dangerous now than back then? I mean, the, the reason... Because he's not... Because the issue with, like, the VTuber thing, right, is he's not really talking about 
the internet as a whole is like a concept. He's talking about media consumption, right? He's talking about the evolution from uh, YouTube, right? Because initially we had people making YouTube channels, making YouTube, posting their cat videos or whatever, like early 2012's YouTube, right? Early, early, early shit, right? And then from that, we started to see the genres emerge from that, and then people started to become personalities, and then those personalities adopted streaming, because streaming services, due to the increase in bandwidth on the internet allowing for streaming to happen, right? We started to see streamers become more of a thing that's kind of started to overtake traditional YouTube in a sense, at least the way I see it. Like, I think the the, the biggest um, casualty of that has actually been Let's Players because why, like, for me, it's like I could just watch a guy stream the game or I could watch a VOD of a guy stream a game. I don't have to watch, like, a multi-part Let's Play commentary thing anymore right and i think that's that would actually have been a much better analogy to use here with vtubers because in my mind i think vtubing is just a natural evolution of normal streaming right instead of it being a real life person projecting their real life persona with their own face they're just using a different avatar right to convey that persona and so i just think it's a natural progression of that media landscape rather than like talking about the history of the entirety of the internet. Yeah, right? I do think you're getting ahead of yourself because all Minimumat has said at this moment is that the internet back then was super dangerous because you could, would get viruses. Well, yeah, well, maybe I am getting ahead of myself, but the problem is, is like his start point is like way, like I don't know why he's starting here. I, I would have, I would have started this like 2012. Right, I would you know I would have started this with YouTube and gone from there, and that would have been a much better analogy. But yeah. that's that's my criticism as of now. Right, that's why so. if you want to talk about contemporary stuff, you have to set a limit on how far back you go and com- think about when is stuff relevant to the things happening today. Mm. Because cars yeah, in the first cars, you can talk about them, but if you want to talk about contemporary cars. You don't need to go back further than 50 years, I guess. Mm. Yeah, because I just don't see how the internet antiviruses and nonsense getting better has to do with VTubing. Because, you know, we'll f- say, 50, hey, years ago, hey. 50 years ago, World War II, mass production of cars, jeeps, big industry gets set up, yeah. etc. That's the moment you want to talk about if you want to talk about cars today. That was the start of mass production and what what not, economy. economy. Yeah. Well, let's let let's see because he might turn it around. But so far, it's like this. This seems all very irrelevant. Really, these in order to get a virus, you either need to be really bad at the internet, doing something you really shouldn't have been doing in the first place, or being directly targeted, which is a great thing. Less viruses and a safer internet allows people to be more confident Less and to go viruses? to new sites. Or stores. Yeah, again, I don't. How is this relevant to VTubers? He hasn't gotten to it yet. He's two minutes into the 11 minute video and he hasn't. Like, come on. Come on, Matt. Come on. 20, Tie it together. 20, come on. 20%. Yeah, yeah, come on. We get it. We get it. The internet has evolved over time. All right, we got the point. Let's, let's, let's get to it. Sparking business and trust, and just a better overall experience on the internet. This was a necessary change the internet had to go through and develop. And with VTubers, I believe that they mark another major change in how the internet is going to be operated All in right, the future. Here we go. Now he's, now we're getting into it. To explain why, we've got to talk about something a bit dangerous here for a second. God, I'm gonna really need to walk on some eggshells here, but let's try and have a civilized conversation about cancel culture. What? What? <laughs> what? I'm getting deja vu what? now. Yeah, yeah, what? What? What the fuck? <laughs> Just... Um... Matt, Matt, are you are you okay? <laughs> Keep going. I want to see where our boy goes with yeah. us. Yeah, here we go. Let's 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 jump right in. For reasons, I won't be using any real examples because this is an area of the internet I really want to keep my nose out of for of obvious internet? reasons. Wait a minute. If then why are you bringing it up? <laughs> 
You know, just so we're not all, we're not all as um, okay. I can't say all as gay because this is Pride Month, so so we're not all as straight as uh, Man Made Matt here. I'm going to you know hashtag take a stance on you know cancel culture. It's it's oh, no. fake and straight. It is fake and straight. It's very fake and straight. Yeah, it's it's, it's very um. It's on time, on time, and straight. You're a complete <laughs> straggit if you engage in cancer culture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. You are, you are definitely a straggit if you <laughs> if you engage in it. Um, yeah, like I don't know why he's being so timid about taking a stance against cat. Like, because I mean, the first pr- look, listen, even Matt, even bringing it up he's in for the video. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's it's why. irrelevant. Um, yeah, exactly. It's irrelevant, and even bringing it up in in your video like this is taking. I think I know where stand. he's going with this. Well, let's find out. Let's find out. I'm I'm fucking interested now. <laughs> he's really wrong, but I think I know where he's going. Cancel culture is fucking scary. Now, do I think certain people deserve to be canceled? Well, yeah. I <laughs> yeah, see. There you go. Anyways, keep going because we already knew this about them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Right. Of course, fr- Nazis exist. So I- <laughs> I just I interrupt you laughing the distance. <laughs> Shiretsu, you're killing the, 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 the recording. The glorious moment. I'm done. I'm sorry, but did you- <laughs> the Nazis Pepe shows up. Look at this effort. Look at this, this still shot Nazi right This now. Nazi frog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So okay, this yeah, has to be moment. this I'll has to be the cover of the video and we have to we have to put something in there completely unrelated. I'll whip up a, I'll whip up a, a, a Pepe. I'll whip, I'll whip up a rear Pepe. <laughs> I can't believe. Okay, I gotta unpack this, right? We gotta unpack this. So, first off, he he said he did, he wasn't gonna take a stance on cancel culture, right? And then Initially, he did. He's like, I'm walking on eggs. I'm walking on eggshells. I don't want to take a stance on it. And now he's taking a stance on it. He's saying no. Yeah, cancel culture is perfectly okay when it's against the Pepe's. Right? What is this man? Why are you such a racist against the frogs, man? Like, why you gotta? No, why are you French. so species? Yeah. Why? Why you gotta do this, Matt? Why? Why you gotta be like this? It's not you have the fucking point. Anglo over here telling you not to be racist yeah. against the French. You can, you can be better, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, oh god, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> and again, what does this have to do with VTubers? What is like? I kind of get what I can kind of see where he's gonna go with this, but it's like this is this is not. Hey, I spat it out for eleven minutes. This is this is what his film yeah. school taught him about YouTube videos. Apparently, all right. Let's let's, let's try and keep. I feel like that should be obvious. My fear is how cancel culture can and in some cases has been abused. One of the main offenders is goon squads going after people before facts are out and putting them through incomprehensible amounts of public shaming when they very well may just be innocent and an easy target. Why is this? Why are we going into, like... I'm guessing this is a Black Lives Matter protest. Why are we going into that territory now in a VTuber video? What is... What? This is so weird, man. Like, I don't... I wasn't expecting it to be this bad. Like, I don't know... So, hang on a minute. So, cancel culture is okay when it's done against the Pepe's, right? I'm going to call them the Pepe's, right? It's okay when we cancel the Pepe's. But cancel culture is bad because it sometimes and has been used to go after... They'll say, he said goon squad. He said goon squad and then he immediately showed a picture of the police. So he can virtue signal what side of this debate that has nothing to do with VTubers. Mm. I mean, yeah. at this point, he should have just had a VTuber avatar and, and uh, saying "fuck the police." <laughs> but you know, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's keep going. 
Question. Question. Matt, 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 question. Question. Matt. Matt. Matt, are you saying that happens often? No. Question. Matt, question. Matt, Matt, can you give us a specific it does example? Often. <laughs> Good try, but hell no. But what I will say is that we are all humans, and as humans, we are not mentally able to handle that amount of public shaming unless you're a genuine sociopath. Our ape brain. So then, how does it make it okay then? Like, are you. Are you serious right now? <laughs> like. And also, you're correct. Yeah, it does happen often. It happens all the goddamn time. Like, it, it, they're, they're, on Twitter, there is a case of someone trying to cancel someone literally every day. There's a new, there is a new controversy on Twitter. Sometimes they just rehash the same old controversies over and over and over Sometimes again. Sometimes they just right? completely blow the thing out of context, make a straw man, and then get mad at that straw man. Yeah, there was one recently where it was like the guy made a tweet about like easy mode and video games and about how it's okay to play in easy mode. And that just sparked that entire debate about like Oh, uh, yeah, every game needs to have an easy mode for accessibility. No, no, they don't. because, blah, blah, blah. And it just sparked that entire controversy that had already been done, like, literally when Sekiro came out, right? Like, I don't know when that exactly was, but it was, like, years ago, right? Like, two, one or two years ago. Like, we already had that controversy, and now we're having the exact same controversy again because some guy made a meme about how it's okay to play on easy mode, right? Like, I, I just, I'm so fucking tired. Damn, who, who gives a shit if somebody plays on easy mode? Like, yeah, you'll fucking chest puff and shit post on the internet, but that's because it's the internet. Yeah, like, I don't care. Like, it's, but my issue is more like, it's just the same thing, right? We'll have, oh, it's another blackwashing controversy or whitewashing controversy. Oh, it's another it's another lollicon controversy. Oh, it's it's another bloody sexualization of minors and anime controversy. It's it's the same it's just the well, same controversies. Look. It's just the same. I'm just gonna make this controversial statement, but if you play on easy mode, that is the straightest shit in the world. <laughs> Don't do it's that. Very hitter. That is very, very that's hitter. very cishet to fucking it's very play hitter. on straight it's mode. Very, it's very heterosexual. This very is Pride Month, you play on hard mode because everybody Because listen, the gays had to play on hard mode for their entire lives. Exactly. Do you know how hard it is to suck a cock? I'll have you know. <laughs> that shit ain't easy. It's pressing the gag you, reflex you're kind not of easy. Distracted. From... I am incredibly distracted right now. Yeah. You're correct about that. <laughs> you are very. But anime Matt, Matt is distracted. <laughs> I like this picture. Yeah, of the monkey, Matt is very dis <laughs> Matt, and Matt is as distracted as this. Uh, um, <laughs> this. Ad oh God, how do I say this without like what, what, what word do I use to describe this thing on screen right now? Lily, that's not going to trigger someone. It's a, it's a, it's a monkey. monkey. Yeah. No, it's an ape. Monkeys, monkeys are different. It's a picture no. of uh, Amelia Watson. I don't she makes monkey noises, right? <laughs> I don't know who that is. You're American culture. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's before we. It's progress. the blonde hair. It's Ame. It's the blonde hair uh, detective. Oh YouTuber. no! Uh, the yeah, VTuber. No. Oh, it's it is relevant. I was yeah. thinking it was some bullshit, something else, but it is actually yeah. relevant. Sorry, yeah, right. I didn't think it so would be. Watson relevant. was British. You fucking racist. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's enough. Brains are not built for the internet. The internet connects us to not millions, but billions of other people. A few more than our ancestral tribes that had about a hundred. So, needless to say, that scale of public shaming can sometimes be super unbalanced compared to the offense. Assuming there was an offense in the first place. Is it true that you are not late to push your head between her thighs? So, Manime, are you saying cancel culture can do good, but also can be weaponized and used for situations where it's not necessary, causing unnecessary trauma? Hey, stop asking leading questions. But yeah, actually, that's about right. Hey, is this video about VTubers, Mr. President Matt? Wait, isn't he fucking okay, Canadian? Well, I, Why is he fucking... I, culturally appropriating Look, listen, capital building. 
I have to respond to what he's saying, because that's, that's what this video is about now. Also, oh, that is not the Capitol is... building, right? That's something else. It's something. Do you think Man of May Matt was at the Capitol building, Siege? <laughs> I don't know. These, and the only the true questions here on Critical Man, Detail. that would be the great... Imagine the great troll of someone just, like, copying his avatar and putting it on, like, a sign. I'm just trying to imagine there him standing awkwardly, not knowing where he's at. God. The uh, QAnon shaman like, right next to him. I... But what is he on about with this bullshit? It's like, oh yeah, can oh, so cancel culture can do some good. No, no, it fucking can't. <laughs> what do you mean cancel culture can do some good? What are you, f are you high? <laughs> are you actually high? Like, this isn't like, I hate this, like, this is not a, a, an issue where you get to be the enlightened centrist cuck, right? You don't, you don't get to be a centrist on cancel culture. You don't get to go, oh, yeah, th you know, this tactic that people are using to destroy innocent lives, right? That's fine when it's done against people I don't like and that I think deserve it, right? That's great. You don't, Yeah, no, that's not, <laughs> that's not how that works, Matt. I'm sorry. You don't get to play this whole, like, t like fucking... I mean, Matt, Matt could sense. be, like, just a hardcore, like, uh, fascist or communist and think that the idea of occasionally making an example of somebody via rule of the mob is perfectly acceptable. Yeah. Yeah, apparently. And that's right. what cancer it's culture is, kids. It's mob, the rule of the mob. Mob just... Yeah, mob justice is okay when I'm the one that gets to decide who who's gonna get mobbed, right? When I decide it's okay or not. Like, that's the problem with cancel culture, Matt. You, you, you dumbass, all right? You, you don't, you, you... <laughs> I, oh, God, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I could rant for ages, but I don't want to, I want to keep going. Yeah, we don't even know. What when something is too hard for us humans to cope oh, with, God, minutes, we so. come up with a way to handle it. <laughs> yeah. Enter the world of VTubers. VTubers are pretty unique because, as per usual, they are internet He really does focus on the However, ones, there okay, is not that one. I don't know who yeah. this one is. She, I, uh, she's a chick that she's an independent that streams on. What's Twitch. her What's her gimmick? She, uh, streaming on Twitch. Yeah, on Twitch. That's what I said. Um, no, her gimmick oh, is fuck. streaming watched, on Twitch. I'm, yeah, gimmick is streaming on Twitch. Well, yeah, because I haven't watched a lot of her. I, I I jumped in on like one stream once, and I think it's just um typical normal fucking shit like it's not i mean normal. most vtubers just kind of do normal shit outside of like one or two things she look look if man and my matt wanted to be really based right now um he would he would bring up that one christian vtuber that does the actual like bible reading <laughs> oh, she's sounds actually basic really shit. cool yeah, no, she's actually really cool. Like she, because she, um, I was listening to her while playing Enlisted once, and she was like, um, I think it was during Easter, and she was actually like reading quotes from the Bible and helping people and all this other stuff. It's actually really cool. It's I like, should commission. Whole, give just, me a picture for her because you know, if yeah, I ever, a, if I, I a, ever, if I, I get money, Twitch. I'll have to pay somebody on Scab to draw porn of her. <laughs> okay, but I'll, I'll go like an that, asshole. But, uh, <laughs> But but yeah, so I don't yeah. But but back on topic, right? Finally, we're getting to VTubers. I'm I'm gonna make a prediction. I think his prediction is gonna be VTubing is the future because it can protect you from the council culture because of the anonymity. And to that, I'm gonna fucking lull my ass off. Yeah, because schizos <laughs> exist, and they will dig up any small bit of information to find you and potentially he stab your ass. He keeps putting nanners on screen, right? <laughs> That's. <laughs> yeah. No. Also, so, yeah, just that's... a regular old avatar in a static picture is the same in that sense. It pretty much is, really. Like, there's not like we know, are we are people. us much protected. Your, obfuscating your voice, you know, like mm. I'm as much protected yeah. from the cancel culture as um this this VTuber is here because we have the same amount of. Anonymity. Mm. Alright, well, let's see what his actual point is going to be. That's just my prediction. So let's see what he actually. There's a noticeable difference between, let's say, Miyune and myself. You guys know what I look like, what my first name is, probably the city I live in, and probably a lot more if you really tried. I can't believe I have to say this, but please, this is just a bit. I really like my privacy. 
thing is, coming up. all these YouTubers' <laughs> identity and privacy has already been... If you want to know, you can know. So yeah, we didn't protect them at Kiwi, all. Kiwi farms. Yeah, it's all over Kiwi farms. Well, and and, and, and the Japanese equivalents for uh, for yeah, all the all the, for the English uh, for the Japanese VTubers and all the Indonesian VTubers, Korean, Chinese, all public persona have their private information leaked or documented somewhere. So apparently, it didn't help at all. Yeah. Don't look up. But Miyune is different. She's anonymous. You don't know her name. You don't know what she looks like. Hell, we don't even really know what country she might be living in. So usually, at least when I was coming up as an influencer, one of the things... Oh my god, he referred to himself as an influencer. Did he ever have a sponsorship? Ooh. Yeah. That shit, that, that shit, that shit. That's some physical cringe right there. You, you don't. <laughs> do not refer to yourself as an influencer. That's very, very heterosexual. Okay? Don't do not do that. God. Yeah, say that you learn is streets. that people like a face. A person. Someone they can get Imagine attached not to. Taking it was ass. told to me more times than I can That's remember. Like. That lying about how you look and putting on a fake character was a surefire way to fail. And it's funny, because now we know all of that is wrong. VTubers it's are- It's not wrong. Okay, Matt, Matt, when people are telling you, when you're making your, your YouTube channel, that they don't want you to be fake and straight, right? That they, they, want you, they want you to be yourself and, like, be genuine. They're not talking about, like, not putting on a persona, right? Like, putting on a persona is different to being, like, the, the kind of fake that people are talking about, right? Because what they're talking about is you not coming off as genuine in your points and your stances, kind of like what you did with that cancel culture section, right? <laughs> right? Like, a genuine person would have just said, yeah, this is my stance on cancel culture. Well, they wouldn't have mentioned I think, it. I think it's... Like, yeah, that, yeah. That, that, or, or that's the thing. they wouldn't have mentioned it, yeah. Well, that's the thing. That was all padding so you can get the 11 minutes, so you can get the advertisement. And probably whatever mm -hmm. like ad de ad sponsorship deal we have coming, so it's like, yeah, completely not genuine because he's doing this for like pocket change, like. Yeah, and that's that's what people meant because because people can see through that shit, right? No, you want genuine. You want genuine, Spurgery. To look up anime oh, yeah. snob because that shit with Miura was that probably the most genuine thing I've ever seen. I'm not. I'm not gonna set my toes into that shit. Whatever, but he meant it. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is the yeah, and that's what we mean, right? It's and that's what people mean when they're telling you that, Matt. They're not telling you because what VTubers are doing is they're being genuine, but they're being genuine in a different way, right? It's a genuine persona, right? They're putting on the act, sure, but it's a genuine act that they're doing, rather than it be coming off as you know disingenuous. So anyway. It's happening. Because, um, because I said and... this before, let to finish off the point. We we the three of us and other people as well. As soon as we record, we're not our natural selves. Hmm. Yeah, my natural self would be saying the c word a lot more. <laughs> my natural self is racist as shit. And that's why. Yeah. We're we're all different people. Once when the recording starts and and whatnot. Yeah. And that's why there is in you know, I'm not going to say oh we're never genuine what blah blah what is a man, but anyway, yeah. <laughs> it, it's my are... default. It, it's my default like, internet, chest puffery. I would say it's like I. I'm not terribly different if you talk to me one on one. I maybe have my voice a little bit raised and maybe a little less risque with the jokes because you know, do not want to get the channel yeeted. But like, <laughs> yeah, I mean that's just that's that's just um, human psychology though. Uh, people wear different masks for different scenarios. That's where the phrase you know, they, they, in psychology they use the phrase persona or whatever. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's just something that's human psychology. You and act in different environments. Yeah. 
we had we did a couple of videos and all of almost all of them because they're not that good I, in our opinion all all of them claim that VTubers are fake and lying and deceitful and manipulative and all that stuff and yeah and uh, Man and Matt is no different apparently oh, uh, they're half genuine but it's still kind of rooted in the whole you know top your fantasy thing they're still they're still trying to sell something. Which yeah, means. but I'm I'm going to indulge this last detour, but say the, the 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 Twitch streamer, the fault streamers as they would be called, also indulge in that uh un uh, unreachable un girlfriend mm. on the parasocial of. yeah the parasocial relationship yeah um, so that that yeah. sense is not that different I believe it, it actually isn't that terribly different it's just kind of marketed in a different way because um with only fans part of the um part of the appeal is that you can message them like i think one of them said something along the lines of is that in the sense that they're kind of like their virtual girlfriend in a way it's different from just you know looking up something on Pornhub for those types of people who are into you know subscribing to only yeah because they're out because because they're after something a bit more than just the but you know i Man, people get really up in arms about the only fan shit. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't. Hey, man. Hey, man. If if the chicks got to respect the hustle, right? You yeah. Got to respect the hustle. And in that but, sense, but if the they're, VTubers if they're providing something. If yeah, and oh, the yeah, VTubers I mean, I are offering us. So yeah, VTubers offer something different, some a similar, totally unreachable social relationship. Yeah, it's yeah, also and, has and at the, the end of the, the day, uh, Moe aspect yeah. in there as well. Yeah, and at the end of the day, to, to cap this and move on, right? It, you know, what was I going to say? Um, at the end of the day, if they're selling, if they're selling and people are buying, right? There's clearly a market for it, yeah. and they're just, you know, within limits, of course, engaging eh? in the market within limits. If they start, well, no, if no, they start no, selling no. drugs, then it, uh, that becomes a different problem. Yeah, yeah, but that's a, yeah. You, you get what I'm to say, Dude, right? that would be <laughs> extreme. Example. That would be based as shit. <laughs> drug, drug dealer, VTuber, kun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God. All right, let's keep going. They broke all of the general conventions of being internet influencers. They are literally anonymous nah, influencers with all the benefits of traditional influencers with significantly less risk yeah no again this all completely falls apart because who is dream? significantly risk yeah. less risk depends who is, on who is the this guy involved. called dream who only ever uses an avatar of a ms paint mm. well Drawing. somebody did actually manage to find a picture of him um yeah but that's the same as any vtuber that, that uses yeah. a, a image mm. so yeah uh, I mean, that's the thing. There isn't really much. I would say, on some level, it's a bit of a bigger risk because some of these people are tied to like professional companies that have sponsors, that have you know marketing behind it. They have things being set up with like product lines and stuff like that. You know, the whole they, they visit the studios. The business. They visit the studios for the three D thing stuff, and uh, yeah, and so there is actual risk involved because if they screw up and nobody watches them anymore that's a career investment that's time investment lost lost yeah so yeah that's a big problem. Um, it's it's the influencers have been the same this is just a fancier paint yeah it, it's like what i was saying before like it's i don't think it's this revolutionary evolution <laughs> i do think it is an evolution right but i think it's just an evolution in the medium right it's it's just hey we're going to move away from face cam and we're going to move into this uh virtual persona right that's that's the evolution well uh, it's, I, I think, don't think it's it ac- i don't think i don't think it actually is going to affect the you know, safety of the anonymity or whatever the hell Matt's going on about. I think it's just purely going to be a, yeah, everyone's just going to start streaming with their own, like, fantasy avatars. That's just going to be what's going to uh, happen. I, 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 was, I was planning to undo making this point later, but the difference is, is that VTubers are more appealing with a face and a persona, more ways to express yourself than an image. That is, and because it's so cheap, to express yourself in so many ways with a face and 
looking looking good and looking weird and looking interesting. That's the revolution. Not that you're uh, anonymous. The revolution yeah. is the way you can express yourself, and that is yeah. that's yeah. way more yeah. appealing than um, that's, that's interesting. I personally, would say like just from my viewpoint as someone outside of it, the the appeal kind of comes from um, it, it's from it's kind of the combination, you know, Frankenstein and together a bunch of different things because you have. You know, you have the internet streaming thing being widely accessible. Um, you've had, you know, people having a need for parasocial relationships and that entire market coming up. You have the old, you know, idol culture aspect, you know, the idea of selling a character image, as it were, sell, selling, a, selling a character to somebody and everything that entails. And then you have just a, a little bit of their of their personal life to kind of ground the entire thing. And like that, that's kind of, it's kind of a combination of a bunch of things. And I think the real revolution, you know, the real phenomenon is that people thought to put it together. Mm. As revolutions, most, most things are stuff that exists put together. All right, let's continue. That's good, Daniel. Freaking genius. Anonymity is fantastic. I mean, if I had a good enough personality mixed with my already <clears throat> a sexy voice. I could totally pull off a sexy anime boy who just can't focus on girls right now. Also, you're not really anonymous if you're establishing a persona online. Uh, anonymous, anonymous means it's just that. You're using different names. You're, it's not even just your real life name. It's like you, you're not known as a consistent element. Hmm. You know, and especially in the online space. You know, you, you want to be truly anonymous, you fucking, like, you, you don't... If you want to be truly, uh, yeah, if you want to be truly anonymous, you're not going to become a big YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, you don't have you don't have a public-facing thing. Like, at all. Mm. Yeah, right, that's good to you. She's so beautiful okay, and come on. talented. Come on. Get on and with you that. will fall Get for... It. Every word I say, it's also as the, long this, as that this camera part has the problem that he thinks off. that VTubers are fake. Wait, is that mm. on? Jesse, turn off the goddamn camera! So am I saying the future of internet influencers I are VTubers? No, but actually... I switch into his hand for that. <laughs> so badly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not the Xbox because he had the Mountain Dew and the Doritos. This more next. This no, no, no. I wanted to replace that no, no, in no, his no, hand no, no. with giant fucking Wii motes. Or <laughs> <laughs> the little switch, the little switch Joy Cods. That's what they're called. Yeah. <laughs> Let's finish. Let's keep going. I'm not. The future of the internet as a whole, in my opinion, will turn to being VTubers. Not just influencers. Now, right now, VTubers are strictly anime. But I do think there will be a time where VTubers will bridge that gap and realize that models don't have to be anime characters. I think the best example of what I mean is Excel World. A uh, we get it. You like Excel World. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, well, it is what we Isekai could have been. Isn't that what we VR like chat is? Yes. Yeah, it all it all comes back to zero. <laughs> Everything comes back to the zero point. The fucking Ah oh god, we've gone back to square one. And right? people say that <laughs> Reiki is a hack writer. He predicted being an embarrassing piece of shit in VR chat. Ah, that God, he could have talked about VR chat here. It would have been amazing, but he did. He probably didn't that realize. would have been a better thing that would have required him to actually go on VR chat, explore the culture, and actually be in a position to actually yeah. talk about it and relate it and to it, science fiction wish, anime that discuss the concepts. I, I wish the devs of VR chat were not fucking cucks, man, because I don't know. There was that one guy. Uh, I, I don't know if I've talked about this on, on uh, cast or not, but there was this one fucking mad lad. He, he, I think he's become a VTuber now, because he kind of had to. Because what he was doing before that was he, he did this thing called, like, Sexy Saturdays or Sexy Sundays, where he had, like, his own strip club in VR chat, 
and he would like have all of these people like fucking do actual striptease dances and their sexy avatars on like poles and shit. <laughs> and he'd put it up on YouTube. Neat. And the VR chat devs got really fucking mad about it because it's like adult content or whatever, and they like forced him to take down all the videos and stop doing uh. it, or he'd get banned from the game. And I'm like, man, that is some cuck shit. Like that's fucking wrong as shit. Because that shit was getting shitloads of co- like views and attention to VR chat, and it was like it was actually fucking like it was interesting because you've you. <sighs> Because when you, because it's like that ev- natural evolution, right? It's this idea of okay, now we can start having people be whatever the hell they want and do whatever the hell they want. But of course, we ca- it showcases that that's going to end up being limited by the people that are creating the technology. The people that created VR chat are moderating what people are allowed to do in VR chat, and that's going to become the limiting factor. That's going to stop the evolution from happening. So if Matt, so what I'm saying is that if Manime Matt wants this future to happen, then he's gonna have to become pro VR chat stripping. <laughs> Sounds legit. Uh, yeah, exactly. So yeah, let's see. Yeah. Show in the future online, everyone is anonymous, and instead of just being themselves, they are these avatars. Obviously, a lot of them are anime characters, but the main character is just a pig. Personally, I think I would get with Thomas the Tank Engine. I mean, we already see a premise. Oh! Yeah, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want to spoil it. He did bring it up. He did bring up VR chat. Look at that. So, the, my, I mean, my point still stands, though. He has to he has to come out as pro, pro VR chat stripping. He has to- I, I don't think he the knows form of this? Whatever, all he the stuff know. you. Yeah, yeah this about. was a while ago, so. This being implemented in games like VR Chat. Granted, most people don't stick to a model in VR Chat, and weirdly enough, that's kind of the point. Being able to shift between characters means that if you ever want to disassociate with that clique of people, character, or personality, you can to an extent. I do want to be clear, I'm not trying to say the future of the internet is complete anonymity, but more protection of one's anonymity. In other words, you aren't free to be a complete monster on the internet. If you are, that was a complete so, monster. Th- this is really weird because he's doing that. He's actually doing the same thing he did in the cancel culture thing, where he's he's kind of playing his hand, right? He's he's going well, you know. I, I want this anonymity stuff is cool and all, but I also don't want to allow people to be themselves on the internet because when people are themselves on the internet, there are disgusting, degenerate, evil people that do racist, horrible things. Here's the thing, people. though: the if you are capable of being truly anonymous on the internet, you're also very much capable of doing some awful fucking shit. Like that's inherent with it. Like you can't say you're for a non or a non or anonymity if you think that you can have that and also not have people be an asshole. asshole. Like, yeah, you have to have, have, have some. Of it. I, I, I know, know it's weird, weird to say, say this, this but you have, have to have some, some sort, sort of faith, faith in people, people that, that even with, with their, their con- the consequences of society, society removed, they'll, they'll have, have their, their, their own personal, personal moral compass, compass and they will. I have a quick question. Do we agree yeah. with his future vision? No. No, no I don't either. All right. Just, just to make I don't it, think, make it I don't, clear. I don't, I don't, I don't think, think, I don't, I don't think we're moving in a direction of um, more anonymity. Like, it's, it's weird because he, cause right now he's trying to make this kind of really weird future where you you can be anonymous, but if you do something bad, you shouldn't be allowed to do something bad. He wants a safe space. He wants a place yeah. where people won't fundamentally be judged, no matter what they put on display, except when. And, but they want to be able to also shout down the people who you know judge them. He, that, he wants to have re- yeah, uh, you're co- hang on. He, you're hang going on, hang on, hang on, hang on. a lot further than what he's he wants... saying. Well, no, he's no, saying he you wants... can't be an asshole, but at the same time, he wants people to be anonymous. He he wants a very he wants a very regulated internet. Yeah, um, he wants a Reddit rather than a 4chan. Yeah, 
basically. Because because 4chan is essentially what would happen if the entire internet was forced anonymity, right? In a sense, right? If you forced everyone to be anonymous, and there was no no one can use their real identities, no one can formulate identities, nobody can do any of that. 4chan is what you get, right? It's the greater get, internet dickwad theory. Yeah, yeah. What you get is you get um, all of these different micro communities, right? That all kind of go into their own little spaces, and they all just be assholes to each other. Is what you get, right? Because because that's 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 what 4chan is. Whereas you have Reddit, which is all, you know, you have your Reddit username, you have that tied to everything that you do, your history, your post histories, all of that stuff. You, you know, all of the subreddits and micro communities are all, they're all heavily, yeah, they're all moderated heavily. They're all like all have their own rules of engagement, and if you break those rules, that could affect you and other subreddits and, and all this other nonsense, right? Like that. That's what he's. That's what I get that he's after. He wants the internet to become something like Reddit, where it's like, yeah, you could have like a fake ass username for yourself, but that username is still tied to what you do, and there are consequences for those actions that you do. Right. Yeah, and that's uh, what was I gonna say? Um, uh, different internet services just have different forms of etiquette. Like you're not gonna have a one size fits all version for the future of the internet. You're gonna have places where everyone's kind of a jerk to each other. You're gonna have places where everybody is overly nice and. The true freedom of the internet, ideally, is that people can make and curate their own communities that where they get what they want, basically. It's responsibility um, onto the person. And I say you're looking, you're getting a lot of policy opinions out of him saying, I don't think that the internet will be completely anonymous in the future. Yeah, no, I'm extrapolating from what he stated. Yeah. And and I think that's fair because what he said because again, what he said was literally what we described, right? It's oh, I because he goes oh, do I do I think that it'll be an internet where you can have complete anonymity? No, I think it will be an internet where there will be more um, defenses for your anonymity, but you will still be held accountable for the actions that you do. So no, you so it's the right to be forgotten. That is basically the same situation as it is today. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of where we are at. Yeah, it's it's not really the future. I I don't not think really sure like about that, actually. Yeah, well, even then, yeah, it's it's kind of weird because <sighs> I don't know. Let's let's see let's see let's see what he has to say. See what else he has. Will lead to you being targeted and your anonymity being revoked. Through oh, <laughs> all right. I want to go back just because I want to hear the whole thing because I want to. I don't want to. Yeah is complete anonymity, but more protection of one's anonymity. In other words, you aren't free to be a complete monster on the internet. If you are, that will lead to you being targeted and your anonymity being revoked through cancel culture. A good metaphor- That's <laughs> not anonymity. If you can be found out, that's not anonymity. So basically, the situation as it is today. Listen, listen to the God the way he said that. Your anonymity, Lolly, will be revoked through cancel culture if you do the bad, bad. Because he people will want to fight. Yeah, basically, uh, if you have, if you're a VTuber, if you have an avatar, your will be mostly anonymous. But if you do something, you'll get attention and people will find stuff about you, and you won't be anonymous anymore. That's How can somebody be this intellectually underdeveloped? This is the future, <laughs> Lolly. He's talking about the future. future. This is the future he thinks is going to happen. And, I, and I'm like, no. And I don't want it to happen. Because that sounds fucking crazy. Because it is and the I, and it's, situation it's, today. And what I and what no and what I hate is that he's he's doing again he's playing his hand right he's he's he he doesn't want to outright state his position but he's dropping these like little breadcrumbs of like oh you know yeah cancel culture's fine when it's the bad it's very thing. implicit oh man 
if oh yeah, if you do if you do the bad thing, then then we'll just revoke your anonymity. You know, like that's fine. You know, that's that's just you know just gonna toss that in there as an idea of what could happen. You know, like he's just like he's he's being very 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 fucking uh, okay. Like, it's not I'm subtle being not being fair by saying he's intellectually underdeveloped because there's two possibilities: either he's in- intellectually underdeveloped or he's meant to, or manipulative as fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah, and I hate it when people do this. Like, just just state your position, right? Just fucking admit that you're pro cancel culture, because that's what you are, right? Because you, again, like I said before, it's not an issue where you can go like, "Oh well, you know, it, it could be okay in this." No, no, it's it's a, it's a it, you, you wouldn't say the same thing about something like racism, right? You wouldn't go, "Oh, you know, racism's you know." pretty bad but i mean in this in this instance racism's okay right i mean like, he probably it's thinks it's okay to discriminate against white people i'm actually gonna go ahead yeah, and well i wasn't gonna i was uh, yeah i wasn't gonna say that but that was kind of where i was getting at right where it's like i hate it when people do that because it's so fucking annoying <laughs> like you know oh you know i hate racism i'm a massive anti-racist racism's horrible watch watch me bloody call everyone that's white evil and and you know, you're all, they're all bad inherently because of their race, right? Just, remember VTubers. It's not yeah, and remember, we're talking and about... And VTubers, VTubers, what are they almost always? White. White. <laughs> Ergo, VTubers White. are evil and in the incarnate of Satan. Yeah. All right, for, for what I'm talking about is, like, installing a big lock on your front door. The point isn't to stop the burglars, it's simply there to deter them and make it more effort to rob you than it's worth. But if you make yourself a big enough target, no amount of locks will keep you protected. My yeah, situation today. <laughs> I'm not going to say it again. My point is that it won't make canceling go away, but it'll definitely add a barrier to entry that will hopefully make people target those who are definitely worthwhile. To further back up my point as to why I think the internet is going down this route, look no further than the recent explosion of cryptocurrency. Even if it is going down at the current moment, there is no denying the amount of growth it's seen over the past 10 years. And an Does he do is research no whole... into any topic he talks about? It is no, really man. easy to find somebody via Bitcoin. <laughs> Yeah, but they keep lectures. But only he doesn't read. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we unfortunately know. <laughs> and it's like a, a lot of the explosion has nothing to do with how it use it's used. People have more or less boiled down Bitcoin as a crypto, specifically things like Bitcoin and Ethereum. I'm not getting into other things like Monero or something like that. That's well, Doge. Uh, uh, Doge <laughs> is also a meme. Monero's, from what I understand, is actually used more often for transactions than anything else. Bitcoin is kind of... it's If you know what Forex trading is like, it's like that, but if Forex trading took a line of cocaine. Mm. The highs are fucking phenomenal, but the come down is despairing. Just, just, just gotta have a look at um, slash biz, man. Just gotta <laughs> go read some slash biz. Uh, so yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> Again, VTubers! <laughs> v- <laughs> Point of cryptocurrency. Basically creating value through decentralizing currency. Soon, you will be able to be online as a VTuber, being completely anonymous, and then buy something off of Amazon with your Dogecoin with complete anonymity. Just rock a VPN in the Onion browser and boom! Gradual- <laughs> God, you know, I wish I could so I could like selectively teleport people in the chat because I would like to selectively teleport uh Rika Fag into this part about yeah. Bitcoin and just let them go. Just like put in the microphone, okay, go. Yeah, like doesn't understand how how this works at all. <laughs> he, he has like the most basic understanding. Of he doesn't like, even have a basic he, understanding. He actually, this is like... he, he actually thinks this shit is like untraceable. <laughs> <sighs> all right.
let's let's keep going. You're a full fledged anime terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? I'm gonna have what to download the, the video and clip that part out of congratulations, you're a fledged <laughs> you're a, anime. You're a serious. <laughs> you're a certified anime terrorist. Just like Osama bin Laden. You gotta put that uh, Hatsune Miku um, fucking um, ISIS music remix <laughs> in the background. I actually unironically love that video. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah. On a more serious note, the internet is still evolving. I would argue that we aren't even at like the teenage years of the internet. There are still many problems that need to be solved, like net neutrality, global Wi-Fi, and maybe even just some decent freaking upload speed every once in a while. VTubers are just one of the many adaptations that will change how we run the internet. Being able to be a personality on the internet with significantly less risk to one's Whoa. private life. Basically, I'm kind of jealous. Because although it's debatable as to which path is harder to pursue, it's clear that overall, being an anonymous influencer definitely has way more benefits. I mean, I could have been a sexy anime boy, but I just joined the game a bit too soon. Since I'm kind of already out there on the internet, face and all. God damn it, just I know that was for a joke, but that's not a thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. So, um, God, I hope that wasn't. What have we learnt today? What have we learnt today, boys? That the okay, will so be to yet again, the this is why Manime Matt is good compared to somebody like fucking Mother's, Mother's Basement. Basement. He always has some weird twist. That makes it so fun to the, to like discuss. I did not understand. I I expected to like be silent most of the time, but he just kept dropping banger after banger. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 kind of kind of wild. This is why you guys should subscribe to him. This is fucking free entertainment. This is better than most shit that yeah. airs on the or on C every season for anime. Yeah, 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 and so. So the future is everyone's going to be a VTuber. We're all going to be anonymous. But then if we do the wrong thing... People will get be... mad. People and they... People will get mad. And they will, My... as a group, will try to find out who you actually are. Your, 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 your an an anonymity privileges have been revoked. By the court of public opinion. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. my takeaway from all of this is that Nanime Matt doesn't understand the actual ideals of freedom. He doesn't understand anom or an anonymity. Um, he doesn't understand technology, and he absolutely does not understand Bitcoin. Mm. And he doesn't understand VTubing either. Because so that last comment he made about, oh, there's a lot more benefits... You know, and I feel jealous. No, this person could not have done a bit of VTubing career because it would have required too much effort. He would have had to interact on Twitter. You know, he would have to interact with other people. They'd have to schedule streams. They'd have to deal with YouTube's bullshit and revolving streams. They'll have to deal with bullshit involving their managers and be outspoken about that. They have to have an interesting personality. They have to have a portfolio before that. The pe I, the little I know about the people who do shit at Hololive, they scouted for primo shit. <laughs> they yeah. they did not get duds. Yeah, no, they, they they spend a lot of time and money sifting through the trash to find people to pick up, right? Like they don't just fucking pick any any old random fucking Joe Smo independent VTuber off off the side of the road, right? And even Nisi like, Sanchi, they, they were picking people that already. And even, yeah, yeah, they already pick people that have already had some level of internet like fame, or uh, like they know how to actually handle having a big following. Because that's a big thing too, is you have to be able to handle the pressure of ha of you know, 
having that many people. And even right? if you sign she who just takes ten it. people on a uh, uh per per season per every season every new season they can come with a new batch of ten people and even all those ten people if if you have never heard of them they'll get a small following they'll be popular they'll be fun some of them might break through and have more some of them might not still yeah, that's that's also strategy. Strategy. That's also a lot of still a lot of work. Collabing all the time. Uh, they have frequent three D collabs with each other. Five five of them three D in the same environment in the same room doing some stupid game. Yeah, the 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 market or the field of VTubing is definitely not one of those things where you can thrive off of staking your claim early. Like, nobody watches Keys and I anymore. Mm. She still has an yeah. audience, but it's, yeah, she's dropped off as not, she's not relevant. Even if she have still, have still, still has an audience. Yeah, stake right. a claim doesn't well, mean shit, but yeah. Well, anyway, um, yeah. So I guess that's about it then. That was oh, a fun uh, video. I went <laughs> my closing thoughts. Oh, um, okay. You, what's, your you won't. what's your closing thoughts? Um, yeah, I skimmed through this video. I saw that you two would love it, and I suggest. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it it's it's classic anime met some superficial readings, some. It's classic wrong. It's classic wrong man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and his vi really his vision of the future is what is actually the situation for the past twenty years on the internet. So mm. I don't. Yeah, I, I I'm kind of in the same boat. I I think the, the video overall felt very um, disjointed. It's not not a whole lot else to say about. Yeah, it. because it's, it's it's a whole bunch of like it's a whole bunch of really random topics just kind of smashed together to try and create a formula. Cars have like existed for two hundred years or whatever he said. I yeah, yeah. I can't really call this like navel gazing. This is more like the type of thing you ramble to the person next to next to you when you're like three to four drinks in. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that was fun. We'll uh, catch you guys next time. Later. Bye-bye.